Okay, joining us, joining me here today is Gary Stevenson. He's the director of soccer and development for Eastern Pennsylvania Youth Soccer Association. Um, they have been partners with us for the last nine years, arranging their international travel program for their ODP program. Um, Gary's the the director of the program. He oversees it um, from a management level, and and it's been a joy for me to work with him. Um, firstly, Gary, how's it been the last couple of days here in our, our fan trip in Lisbon, Portugal? Oh, it's been great looking at the two big academies here. Um, looking forward to the game as well. So seeing the whole process from youth through to adult. And I, and I think the beauty of especially Gary's role, bringing them into two storied clubs like Benfica and Sporting. Um, what have you taken maybe from yesterday and today, just to, you know, in the short time that we've been at both clubs? Actually, looking at like sporting as we are here now um, and then Benfica yesterday, just the difference in four years of this being built and the new one coming in, just the, the techno technology within the club and then just the whole family feel of each club. And even watching that warm up this morning, I think some of us enjoyed just. You know, watching the two groups warm up and the enthusiasm that they had and the excitement and the passion they had just for a simple little warm up exercise. Did you take something from that? I know it's great, and it's, it's something that like we want within our clubs within Eastern Pennsylvania. So it's just seeing that people are just excited, just just as a keeper. Yeah, it's yeah. just cool. Yeah, and just to jump on a little bit, as I said, Gary's been working with us for nine years now with their state association ODP program. Uh, we've done many different countries and, and we have a <coughs> kind of travel template in place for their programme. Um, just, you know, from an, an overview perspective, Gary, what, what has the international travel programme done for you and for the, the kids of EPYC ODP? So actually, the travel in itself, obviously, going over there and feeling the culture and seeing, seeing what's going on, which is great for the kids in the travel. Um, actual good play come back a little bit more physical which, which is great and the actual template we've got set up allows parents to plan for the next two or three years so they can actually everybody benefit from actually what travel brings with the education side of it and also just the soccer as well yeah and and how has it been for you personally working with world strikes and, and the partnership and collaboration that we've had. Well, I've, second and on, I've, you know, almost turnkey, if you like. You, but you can actually tailor exactly what you want. So the, the guy, Eric's guys, come over and help sit down with you and, and go through your actual plan, what you want, what you want, and what they think you need. And then it evolves year to year. And again, step back and let Eric's team do their business, and let you take care of the soccer side. So it, it's it's great. Where do you see? You know, we're we're all in, in the youth soccer landscape in, in North America, and, and there's certainly there's an evolution going on just now with the DA and ECNL and ODP and all the various um, kind of pieces to it. Um, where do you see it going in, in the future years with regards to the international element and the importance that has with in connection with the ODP? Um, well, I think ODP itself obviously has gone through an identity crisis and then an identity change yeah. with the other two DAs and everything coming along. Um, the international part actually just adds another layer on to what we do, so it kind of allows that player that wants to do high school or pursue another sport to actually benefit from travel, which, which I think, which is what, what ODP is about. So I think going forward, I mean, the more travel we do, I mean, you're, especially European, yes. will, help, will help the program and help the players. Yeah. And, and I think from my point of view personally, it's, it's been a pleasure to work with Gary and with Mike Barr and Chris Branscombe and Kelly and Dylan and all the staff at Eastern Pennsylvania Youth Soccer because they've been such a trailblazer in this space. Um, you know, and, and forging new paths and, and new opportunities for their kids. So certainly it's been a pleasure for me and a joy and I'm just sincerely thankful to you. Yeah, no, thank you. Thank you.